Hi and welcome back to my channel Crafty to Calamity. So today I'm going to be doing a hunky dory favourite Christmas topper. So I've picked this penguin one out. Pen penguin pals. And I'm going to be using this big topper here. So I've pre-cut a card from an A3 card down to an 8 by just under the 6 so it's five and three quarters and it's a tent fold so it's going to be standing like that so I'll cut this down from the A3 piece down to the side to 16 inch and then it's supposed to be in at the six but it's just under the six so that it fits in the envelope that I've got to use so that's that bit and then I'm going to cut my silver mirror because the edging on this penguin set is um, silver mirror. So I'm just going to cut this one down. So I'm just going to bring my card in so my measurements get it right. So this one, so it needs to be two notches under the eight for the height. Is there More for the height and then for the width oh, I'll pick that up. and for the width it's five and three quarters so I need to go two notches under five and three quarters which is there and discard that bit and then that should fit onto here like so and then I'm going to go with this colour block pad classic Christmas ones and they've got this nice vibrant red which goes pretty nicely with that topper set topper sheet sorry <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut this one down exactly the same so we know these are 8 by 8 in size so I need to go 4 notches under that 8 for the height Hopefully this trimmer cuts through this pretty good. And then again, same this way, but it has to be four notches under. So it's five and three quarters. So it needs to be four notches underneath. So it'd be five and a half. For the height. Now I do find that sometimes cutting down rather than up on the trimmer is better for paper because you don't get them little wispy bits if you do just cut them off and I'm going to try and put this um, piece of paper through my emboss embossing folder so I've got this um, snowflake emboss folder I might have to go through it a couple of times because I've not actually done this on here so I have to see what it's going to be like because my embossing folder is only a small folder so I'm just going to grab this and put this under so I'm just going to take them two plates out grab that and open this up to the right one I think it's this one and then push that on there and that one to there hopefully this one will go under the thing it will go in here like so just have to move over so I can get to it folder is just a little bit too chunky for this machine so I'm going to come in with a my other one which is this one here this would have to go in a couple of times as well so I think this one 
going to do it this way around. And then I have to go back in again. And see how that has come out. this way again. Okay. Just bring it so I can get it out. Let's have a look to see how that has worked. hundred percent but I think I actually need to get some new plates for this for my embossing bit but we shall see how this looks when off I'm just gonna see how this is before I stick it all down just in case I'm not happy with how this looks and we can I can use something different. I'm going to grab my topper for a minute. Hmm, I don't know. I've got this one over here, so a patterned one, so I might see if I've got a red in here somewhere. Snowflake one. Trying to find the one I want. Can't find it. I might have to go. Hmm. I don't have a red one in there. I thought there was a red one. Shown a red one on the front, but not red one in there. So we're going to go, I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with this one. So we're going to come in and do a different thing with that. So that didn't really work. So I'm not happy with that. So, okay. So I'm going to come in with this piece of already snow. And then I'm going to come in with this piece of red card. So it's still got some of the red in, so that's going to go on top of there and then the red bit on top of here. So now I need to cut this piece down to match that one. So four notches under the eight. And then four notches under the five. 
sorry, four notches under the five and three quarters, so that makes it five and a half. And then that should fit onto there. Yeah, it does and then this one and we can either go with the darker bit more and then the lighter which I think that looks better so I'm not sure what size these are to be honest so if we've gone four notches we need to go two more notches so we need to go six maybe we go this way first so four and a half plus minus two is there Just going to cut that bit off and then it needs to be so another two notches under the four notches so there down with the paper and then that should be all the cutting we need to do for this card so I'm just going to get my All purpose glue and my tacky glue and start putting this card together now. Just gonna turn that over so it doesn't blind you. So all, all, all purpose glue in the middle. I don't do what I do and squeeze loads out. I forgot it was a new bottle, not my old one. And then tacky glue in the corners and then stick that down to your silver marine like so. Let's move that to the side. And this one I'm just going to use some tacky glue just because it's paper. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just tape on this bit your double sided tape or your tape runner, whatever you're comfortable with, and then that should go on there as well. Just going to try and move this red one slightly over because it's all moved about. There we go. Okay, I'm going to have to work with that one because I can't get that to budge over a little bit so it's a bit closer that side than I really wanted it to be, but that's okay. Now, do this. Tacky glue again on the back, or all purpose glue, sorry. Then the tacky glue on the corners again. And then stick this to the front of your card. Make sure it's as even all the way around as you would like. Press it down. And then there we have our card front. So with this one, I'm going to take this one off, hopefully. And this one I'm just going to glue down. I might come in with a bit of tacky um, all purpose on this one. So, place this one down on here, like that. <clears throat> this one I'm going to foam pad up, I'm going to double foam pad this one I think.
just putting them on these bits so that the other frame bit framework stays in the on there as well and doesn't come away. And then with a few more on there like that. Peel them off. Like so. I'm just going to double foam pad these up like I said. Just so it sits up a little bit higher on this card. Need one more. This one. And then take all the backings off. So, a bit of tacky glue just on the backs. And then place on here. Oops. So it sits like that. This is the sentiment I'm going to be using is winter wishes to a really cool friend. Then I've got some square foam pads here, which are the perfect size for these for this sentiment. Oops. Put in, make sure you put enough on or as many or as little as you like. I mean this wasn't the plan I had for this card. I'd already planned what I was doing with this card and obviously my embossing folders are not working that brilliant on paper so maybe they work better on card. I don't really use in Boston folders to be honest. I've only got my machine for die for cutting dies. Um, so just place that one up on there like so and then come in with some gems. I'll come in with some silver ones for this one, just to bring out the silver a bit more in that frame that's like this frame sitting there. Just going to put a few random ones on these snowflakes, I think. Um, I've lost my picky up tool, so I'm just going to have a little look and see these shiny ones, I think. Yeah, they work. So I'm not being precise, I'm just oops, randomly going around and placing some of these onto this card. More or less the same size, I think they are. Yeah, they look so all the same size. Where did you put you? There we go. Put a couple more on. One more there. And over this side. And these um, these gems are a mixture of different sizes and colours. So I've got black, 
and I've got the shiny silver ones and then I've got the ones that look like pewter. This will be the last one. I'll have a look in a minute. See if I'm happy with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that's enough on that card. So that is card number one complete. And if you've got Christmas verses to put inside the card, then you can do that. I will do mine. When I pick which one I'm going to put put in it. So that is card number one. I'll be back with card number two in a minute. I'm just going to have a little play around with what I've got left and see what I can come up with. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back with my second card. So the second card is the same size as previous, but it's going to be that way. So it opens that way. So it's going to be an 8 by just under the 6. I'm just going to put that to the side. So I'm using up the three toppers off of that Penguin um, Penguin Pals topper set. So, and I've chose a piece of paper out of the Duo Design paper pad the frosted forests and falling flakes. So I'm going with the falling flakes on this one and a I've lost oh there it is and my rainbow mirror for this one. So I'm just going to cut this down. I'm just going to bring my card in. Put it that way up. So I need it to be 8 in the length, so it's going to be 2 under the, no, 6 it has to be, so that's the height, 2 under the 6, and then 2 under the 8. It's a bit shorter than six, wasn't it? So I'm going to try another. Take another a little smidge off of that. Because it's not quite. Okay, I'll do another one. Oops. So maybe the four notches under the six should be. About right, I think. Could be wrong. Might have to take another two off. Let me just see. I'm just gonna turn that over so I can see it a little bit better. Yeah, so four notches under the six for that one for that side, two notches off, two notches off the eight for the other side. And then this one I'm going to come in, so I'm going to keep this bit up here. So four notches under the eight. Move the blade back so light coming down. And then I'm well done. I'm going to go six notches under the six. It was four notches to do the other bit. So then that should be right to go on here now, which it is. So that is all the cutting I need to do for that one. So these cards are just straightforward cards, nothing fancy about these ones. It was just a topper set that I got in the topper. Christmas selection that they did on an offer, I think it was set four that I got. And these ones were like the, I think 
think it was 10 toppers for 14 toppers 10 toppers sorry I'll get it right in a minute 10 toppers for 14 oh it's not got to go in there 10 toppers for 14 pounds so I nearly made a mistake I was thinking why is that too big then I realised it needs to go on this mirror not on the card didn't push that over far enough oh it's okay it works and then I'm just going to come in with my all purpose glue so I got a Christmas box recently goody Christmas box from Hunky Dory and inside that was some more Christmas toppers not these ones that I'm using today but some other different ones that I had in another set that I brought that were on a special offer I can't remember what the cost was for them now I think it was like £14 it was when Dan was on doing the show with Rebecca I think it was okay so I'm going to put these toppers on I'm just going to put on some double sided foam pads on the back of these which now I have two sets of the same topper um, selection which was selection four so I've got two lots of that but I don't mind because they will all get used in the coming years at Christmas going to put all these onto the back of here before I peel them all off and stick them down onto my card where I want them. So the bigger one out of the three is going to be the one that goes in the middle because this is the one that says sending Christmas cheer. If you wanted to you could, or oh, I might do it in a minute after I've pulled this off, just remembered that on this sheet I've got a border. But I don't know whether I'm going to use that but I'm just going to have a look and see if I want to use it or not on this card because I only have a couple of little toppers left on this one. I have two little sentiments and two round toppers which for them I will end up using them and doing some Christmas tags which at some point I will get around to actually doing a video of the Christmas tags that I make just putting my sleeves up because I'm getting a bit warm so this has got snowflakes on here so these ones have still got the backings on so I can just play with these ones for a minute so these two are going to sit this side and that big one is going to be sitting in the middle and the thing is with this one I do not have a sentiment unless I've got a spare one from something else that I did that I don't use every single sentiment on them if that would work on here maybe just having a little look to see what I've got no, it's a birthday. No, it's sent as a little helper, but they're not the right colour. It is the season to be jolly, but I don't think that's right on this one. No, I'll have a look. I've got the sentiment book, and I have to look through that. So I can either put that on there 
I might use this. Might not. No, I don't think I'm going to bother using that. I think I'll use that on my Christmas tags that I've got. So I'm just going to come in with some tacky glue. On these sticky pads. So that I'm just going to put these two on here. Just so I know for my placement. Might come down just a tad. And this one might go up. That's a little bit higher than the other two. And put that one there. Pull these off. Whoops. Tacky glue. And then this one's going to come and sit here. Like so. And then this one is going to come on the other side. Tacky glue on there again. And then flip it over and try and line it up. I'll do it in my ruler just to place so I can try and get this as straight as I can. So I'm just trying to line this up. Let me just turn that over for a minute. Line my ruler up with that and then line my card up with the ruler. And there we go. And then I can place this one. Oops, stuck to my hand. Down on this side. Like so. So we can get it more or less in the same position. So that is that bit done. Now I'm just going to put that to the side and I'm just going to look through when I find my Christmas one. Are you Christmas? No. Are you Christmas? Yes. So I've not actually used anything out of this one yet. We don't want pink obviously. We don't want cream, brown, red. Mm, not the right colour blue. Oh I have used one somewhere I've lost it. Not that colour green, not you. We could use a white one. Have a have yourself a merry little Christmas. Um, a very merry Christmas to the whole family. I know we've got this bit here. Sparkle and shine this Christmas. I might go with that one. Have a look to see what other one we've got. Have a warm and cosy Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Christmas with you is so much fun. Um, handmade for you. Happy Christmas to a shining star. star Stocking up on festive cheer at this special time of year. So we could go with that one. Oh, we've got this pale blue. Just seeing what else I've got. In this section here. Jingle all the way. That's the white one. Have a jolly, have a holly jolly Christmas. Santa stop here. Happy Christmas. Mm, I think I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to my first choice here. I'm just gonna pop this out just to 
see if it's going to look okay on this one or whether I'm going to have to go with a different because I need something that's got the silver border that goes with the other sentiment I mean goes with the other toppers that I've got on there I've got this blue one but I don't think it's deep enough dark enough just going to pull that one out I think I prefer the white one to be quite honest looks a little bit better on that card so I'm just going to go with that and I'll find my square foam pads stick a couple of them onto the back of that and I'm going to place this one in this corner here and put it at an angle just like that and then come in with these lovely gems some nice shiny see if I can get some of them smaller ones out to use as this card is I need my picky up tool again lost my dot where did I put my dot of glue can't see it Oh, there it is. Found it. I couldn't remember where I went. <laughs> Put another dot there. I'm going to come in with a little bit smaller for this one because it's only a small snowflake, that one. And where else shall we go? Let's put one on this one. A bit bigger. This glue does dry clear. Another one on there. That size. And one there. Maybe one there. Like that. And I think that's going to do on that one. I've got five on there. Oh no, I'm going to put another one on here because this bit's showing, it's a bit bare up here. Come in with that one. Where's it gone? There we go. And I think that's that for that card. I might put a bow. I don't know. Let me have, let me just have a look. Oh, I'm going to put them away. Never mind. Put them away in a minute. Let me just see if I've got a bow that's going to go on here somewhere. Maybe on that one. Yeah, I'm going to put the bow on there, that blue, that blue. I think it looks good. I don't think these ones will look right. No, I quite like that. Dark blue bow. More than the lighter colour one for this card. Just put a glue dot onto that. Stick that onto there, like so. Put them away. And then that's card number two done. I'm just going to put these gems away before bringing my other card. Throw my rubbish away. And I'm going to put in a sentiment while I've got this these sentiments here from the last card that I've done so may you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve wishing you sparkle wishing you cheer for a bright Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year I think I'm gonna go with this one I'm just gonna bring in my trimmer my guillotine trimmer just to trim a bit of this away so it's not as big at the top that's good and then use my tape gun Just to put this inside 
because I don't have any inserts for these cards. Open that up and then just stick that down into the centre. So that is that card finished now. Now to bring in our first card, I can stretch over there. So two totally different cards from one set, one top of set, like I said, and I've still got these little guys left here. The one and the two together. Like that one. So that is all that I have left from this one and the border. So yeah, that is that for this, this video. So next time I come back I might come in with doing these two Christmas tags before I go on to, to doing anything else. Or I might save them and then do a video on some other little bits that I have left over from some other kits and I've got some other bits left over and come back in and do a video on tags. So I hope you like what you you see and if you do please do subscribe. I do really appreciate all the support that I've been given over the last few months of doing my channel. I look forward to speaking to you all again soon. Till the meantime, take care. Bye bye for now.